something that occasionally happens in our criminal justice system is a sexual assault victim. Let's say a victim who's truly a victim. It doesn't show up for the trial for whatever reason. And I've had this happen to me on one occasion in the past. And my client says, why aren't they just withdrawing the charge at this point? Why isn't it getting dismissed? Well, I'll give you an example on that particular case. Well, you, we have to have a compassion of this situation. The person may, may or may not uh, be truthful, for example. They may be very nervous about testifying, anxious, scared. Judges will tend to bend over backwards in this day to allow the Crown to get an adjournment to deal with the situation. Uh, for example, um, the Crown can say, look, we have to look into why. Can we get an adjournment? Uh, this person's been going through stress, etc." A Crown might, and they'd be reluctant to do this, ask for a warrant for the person's arrest, but they're not going to necessarily exercise the warrant. They're going to have the police go talk to them. What's the reason you didn't? So you get a warrant for the arrest, but you, with discretion. So in other words, the police go talk to the person, say, why didn't you show up? Well, I'm psychologically affected. I can't do it. Um, all sorts of reasons. Uh, you know, maybe I just wanted to recant or maybe I wasn't truthful. And on the other hand, it might be a lying person. But let's, let's talk about the truthful witness. I mean, there's reasons why people don't show up in court because of fear, scared of the accused, et cetera, et cetera. But it doesn't necessarily just go away. In that particular case, uh, the Crown was able to get an adjournment and then went and talked to the uh, complainant. And that was it. She claimed she was fearful, et cetera. And that's the reason she didn't show up. And we started the trial another day after... Um, you know, they provide some counseling and whatnot. Now, there are situations, and I, I've seen this with other uh, colleagues of mine, where a uh, witness hasn't shown up, the, the complainant uh, didn't show up her trial, where what happened was ultimately the Crown withdrew the charge because the person was not psychologically able to testify um, psychiatric issues. They just couldn't deal with the situation. And that that could be a truthful witness, that could be a lying witness, or somewhere in between. Obviously, many... Uh, victims of, of, I'm sure the majority of victims of, of sexual assault are, are truthful witnesses. Some aren't. I mean, you know, don't think that they're not false allegations that happen in miscarriage of justice, the criminal justice system. So it's not as simple as, hey, the witness didn't show up and the, and the case is going away. Uh, a judge is going to bend over backwards to accommodate the Crown. There could be reasons why a complainant's not showing up that are, are legitimate reasons having to do with fear, uh, and psychological issues and psychiatric issues caused by being victimized. On the other hand, it could be that they uh, were a lying witness and didn't want to face the truth. We don't know, or, or some gray area in between. But uh, you know, client clients are going to ask that question, and that's the and, and the public's going to ask that question. What happens in that situation? And bear in mind, a complainant, a, a sexual assault victim they're actually subpoenaed to court. So that's a court order that they have to be there. So the Crown is entitled when they don't show up to get a warrant for the rest, but they're very reluctant to do that. Very reluctant, you know, and I don't blame them. You don't want to start throwing victims in jail because they didn't show up because they have psychiatric issues. We have to have some compassion to the situation. And certainly I, as a defense lawyer, have compassion for why, uh, the many reasons why witnesses don't show up for trial. The ones I, I don't have compassion for is the odd lying witness who doesn't want to face the music. They laid a false charge. Now they're not showing up because they know they have to face the music from a skilled cross-examiner who's going to expose the truth on the witness stand. And that, believe me, don't think that doesn't happen in Canada. Miscarriages just as happen. And, and occasional people who lie in court happen as well. Sometimes more than occasional. Thank you for watching our video. We are absolutely committed to bringing you the best possible criminal and DUI educational videos. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've been charged with a criminal offense in Ontario and require our services, please click on the link in the description below.